I mean, we gotta do it. We're already here. No! Oh! If you're having trouble training your dog to stop barking, Dr. Trainer's here to help. We have the B1S Pro Sound, Vibration, and Shock Barking Collar. Because as you know, good dogs are trained. So if you're like me, you've seen a lot of different bark collars out on the market, but every one I've seen, you have to have a separate remote control to control everything, which is a hassle because you always have to go find it when you need it and you've somehow misplaced it and then guess what? You can't use the collar. But this right here, this is a smart barking collar because it actually connects to an app on your phone so you can control it with your phone that you always have on you. But keep in mind, because it connects to your phone via Bluetooth, you have to be within 10 to 15 meters of the collar to be able to control it. It takes 40 minutes to fully charge for up to two weeks of battery life, which is pretty great. It's IPX7 waterproof, so if your dog gets in a puddle, everything's gonna be fine. It has secure contact points. And remember, this is a smart dog collar, so you actually get barking reports on your phone when you connect to the device. And if you're away from home and your phone's not connected to the collar while your dog is barking, it will save it onto the barking collar itself. And then once you get home and connect your phone back to the collar, it'll update everything in the app, which is pretty awesome. We have customizable warning sounds, app remote control, and smart barking detection. I mean, for me, the best feature of this thing is the barking report, so that way, no matter where you are, when you come home, you'll know how often your dog was barking while you were gone. So that way, if your neighbor's like, hey, your dog was barking all night while you were at work, you'll be like, uh-uh, or, oh, you're right. <laughs> Packaged up very nicely, like always. Inside the box, I have a user guide, a quick start guide, a micro USB charging cable, some rubber tips for the prongs on the collar, a shocking tester so you can make sure electricity's flowing, as well as the collar itself, which looks very nice, feels very lightweight, but also feels solid, and has a nice matte black finish, looking great. As you can see on the front, we have Dr. Trainer branding next to an LED light, pro and electricity indicators. Down on the bottom, we have the power button along with a cover over the micro USB charging port to keep it water resistant. Up here on top, we have a speaker grill for the warning tones. And over on the right side, we have a microphone to detect the barking. And of course, this can be resized to fit any size dog that you have. Then of course, we have the shocking prongs down here on the bottom covered up by rubber so it doesn't irritate your dog's neck. So of course, most people are gonna wanna use the app on their phone to control the device as well as set it up and have all the main features like the barking report. But if you don't have a smartphone or you just don't wanna bother with the app, once you turn this on, it defaults to progressive mode. So to automatically increase intensity, it'll start off with a tone, then go to vibration and probably a shock by the third bark. So you don't have to use the app at all. So to power this on, you just hold down the power button and just like that, we are powered on. As you can see, it's flashing green, which means it's not connected to the phone. Once we have it connected to the phone, it'll flash blue. To pair up the collar with your phone, you need to download the Doctor Training app from the App Store. We're gonna press Add. Then once the collar's powered on, we're gonna double tap the power button. And instantly it shows up and connects to the phone. And as you can see, it's flashing blue because we are connected to Bluetooth. So next, you can set up your dog's profile. You can upload a picture. You can change the name. Let's call him Domino. You can set the gender, male or female. Set the dog's birthday and then set the breed of dog, and they have every breed you could possibly want. Let's just do a Welsh Terrier. You can then choose your dog's weight, under 10 pounds, 10 to 20 pounds, 20 to 60 pounds, or over 60 pounds. We'll just do under 10, and then the settings are complete. Keep in mind, your dog may panic at first when you start using the device, so you should stay close so you can comfort him, and don't leave the collar on for more than 12 hours to avoid causing skin irritations. Once you're inside the app, you can see all your collars and all your dogs, as well as battery life at a glance. Then once you're inside, the first thing you see is the bark log. So every time your dog barks, guess what? It's gonna pop up here, tell you what happened. We also have the remote control so you can manually send either a tone, vibration, or shock, or I guess all three of them at the same time. Whoa, that sounded scary. So obviously you can toggle which ones you want on before you send the signal, but you can also toggle what you want. So for sound, right now set to five and default, you can change the volume between one and five, and you can even customize what the sound is. That's the default sound, then we have burglar alarm. We have alarm sound. We have no sound? No! Oh, it says no. Okay, that's pretty cool. We have keep quiet. Keep quiet! We have shut up. Shut up! We have stop. Stop! And we have come back. But what's really cool here is you can record your own voice so your dog's like, hey, that's my master, I better listen. So let's try that out. Hey, stop that! Let's see how that sounds like. Hey, stop that! Okay, that was coming from the phone, so let's save that. You can also name it to whatever you want. It's downloading the data to the caller itself, which is pretty cool. And as data's transferring, it is rapidly blinking blue. And now... Hey, stop that! That's really cool! Okay, look at that.
it's coming from the caller and it actually sounds really good. Not the best quality speaker ever, but I think it's good enough to get the job done. So we're gonna just leave it at that, cause that's me. You can also adjust the vibration strength, strong, medium, or weak. So here's strong. Yo, that is really strong. We got, we also have medium. A little less powerful, and then we have weak. Which is really weak. So I'm gonna leave that up there at strong. <laughs> really strong. And then we have the shock. So right now it's set to one, and you can go all the way up to 99 intensity. And you can test it. Well, I can hear it doing it too. Let me turn it up to 99. Ooh, it has like a little vibration itself. Let me see if you guys can hear this. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but you can hear it bzzz. That's pretty cool. So then we have bark control. You can turn it on so it's listening for barks or turn it off for a couple hours if you don't care if the dog's barking for the next two hours during a movie or something. Although that doesn't really make sense, but you know, turn it off whenever you feel like it. You can also trigger the loudness and ah, it lets you know exactly in real time how loud the dog is barking at any given moment. You can set the training mode. We have progressive stimulation, which is the default. So if you never use the app, it'll default to progressive and just increase as the dog keeps barking. Or you can have it repetitive, so it'll stay the same no matter how many times the dog barks. And then this is where things get interesting. We have first bark. So you can set what's going to get triggered when the dog barks the first time. You can turn on sound, vibration, vibration level, and electric shock. But obviously, you're probably going to start pretty basically with just a vibration. But then if the dog barks again within 30 seconds, you can add the sound effect along with an electric shock and adjust the level of electric shock as well so it'll increase. And then if the dog barks a third time within 30 seconds, you can have all of them on, customize it to your liking, increase the intensity of the vibration, electric shock, change the sound effect, all that good stuff. So it's really customizable and very cool. So let's see if the electricity is actually flowing with the tester that it came with. We're going to put it on here and we're gonna send a shock over. Let me turn that down, I don't wanna accidentally shock myself right now. And as you can see, as we test it, it does light up, which means electricity is flowing. Now if you turn it all the way up, well, it definitely got a lot brighter, so it's definitely increasing in intensity. So let me test this out, let's see if I could trigger this thing with my own barking. Ruff! All right, we got a vibration, that was number one. Now if we do it again, ruff! <laughs> Plays a sound effect, it vibrates, and then it does an electric shock. And now a third time, woof! <laughs> Same thing except with more intensity. So that's pretty cool. Remember, you can customize it to your liking too. So I'm actually gonna change that. We gotta change the sound effect to my voice because that was the main thing I liked. All right, so I have it set up to my liking right now and I'm gonna test it on myself because personally, I don't use shock collars on my dog, at least the shocking part. I use the vibration and the beeping, that's it. But if you are using the shock collar, I think the rule of thumb is that you gotta test the shocking on yourself to see how powerful it is so you don't hurt your dog because that's pretty mean. So I'm gonna do that myself. We're gonna go through all three barks, let it intensify. I have it set pretty low right now because I'm gonna see how it is. We have it set to vibration of one after the second bark and then a vibration of 10 after the third bark. Let's do this. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> I'm always afraid to do this. Ruff! Okay, it vibrated. Okay, that was one. Here we go. Ruff! Oh! <laughs> Okay, that kind of took me by surprise. It didn't really hurt, but you know how it feels when you do it. Now we're on 10, let's do this again. Ruff! <laughs> okay, so it's, it's not hurting, but you know like when you do a shock pen, that's what the intensity felt like, or it just kind of shocks you, you know? It surprises you. Okay, so that was 10, not bad, but it definitely will be like, hey, what the hell is that? <laughs> Okay, I kind of want to go all the way up. I don't know. I don't I don't know how I want to go. Let's do 20. This time I'm just going to press the button. <laughs> it still didn't hurt, but you know, you still get that shock. Okay, let's try 30. Okay, it's starting to get up there. It still didn't really hurt though. I think I'm just getting shocked. Okay, now we're on 40. Jeez, I can feel it going up the side of my head. All right, let's try 50. I'm sweating, you guys. <laughs> oh! I still don't think it really hurt. Like, I could feel it, like, a slight sensation. Like, it might start hurting. My ear's kind of numb, though. I think, unless I'm feeling I don't know. I don't know if this is good to be sending shocks into my brain. Maybe I should, should I put on my arm or something? <laughs> I don't know, let me switch, let me just switch sides. 
No! <laughs> is this dangerous? I mean, people put it on dogs. That's why I don't use a shock collar on dogs. I'm like, I don't know if this is good. But, you know, I'm not a professional or anything. But that's why I'm doing it on myself. Because if I'm like, hey, that really hurts. I'm not going to do it on my dog, you know? So, we're on 70. Okay, not too bad. I mean, it doesn't really hurt. I think it's just catching me by surprise every time, even though I'm the one controlling it. Okay. Oh! Okay, that one, it, that one might have hurt. <laughs> we're on 80. We're actually really close. I think I have to finish now. So we're on 90 now. No! Oh! <laughs> you see, the thing is, when you have this on your dog, the dog can't take it off. I'm taking it off halfway through the shock. I can still hear it going after I take it off. But now, we're on 99. We are maxed out. <sighs> well, I mean, we gotta do it. We're already here. Oh! Whoa! Okay, I wouldn't say that hurt, but it was weird. Like, it really made my head go like this. Like, I felt that. That was pretty crazy. So, I mean, 99, it doesn't really hurt, but still, personally, I wouldn't use it on my dog. I'd probably just leave it on one if I was using shocking at all, which I'm not using. Like, but if I had to for some reason, I don't know why, but yeah, I would just leave it on one. But, you know, you know, different people do different things. I don't know. Do what you're gonna do, I guess. But, yeah, the shocking works, the triggering works, everything works with this thing, it's pretty cool. And remember, you can go into the app and see the bark history. So today, the dog barked six times. And it tells you right here when the dog was barking, how loud the dog was barking, and all of that, which is really cool. Oh, the dog barked at midnight in 26 minutes. No wonder I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> so that's really cool. You can always see it. And remember, even if you're away from home, it'll save the log onto the device until you connect your phone to it, and then it'll update it accordingly. So that's really cool. This is working great. Definitely recommend it. This is the smartest dog collar I have ever had. It has shocking has vibration, has tones, and you can do your own tone. Let me get that tone real quick, because I really like that. Remember, you can set it to your own voice. Oh, I almost just shocked my hand. Hey, stop that! Hey, stop that! Yeah, just set it to whatever you want, because remember, the dog's listening to you, because you're the master, so it's better to have your voice, so it'll be like, okay, I better chill, because my master doesn't like what I'm doing. But overall, this is a very high-quality product. I'm really liking it. Definitely going to be using it, just without the shocking part.